free from confinement. But the legal case against Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller is far from over. Anchor Kristen Hartman is here to explain. Kristen. Tanya, a captain I spoke with tells me the Marine Corps preferred charges against Scheller. So his release today as a result of a mutual agreement between him, his defense counsel, and the commanding general came with news that he's likely moving toward a potential court martial. I am waiting on a list of those preferred charges. I spoke with a military attorney about today's events. You have to entrust your leadership to give you proper orders and follow those and execute those. And so when those aren't followed and it's on a public scale like we see here, I'm not surprised at all that these are the consequences. You'll recall Scheller originally spoke up on social media after 13 U.S. servicemen and women lost their lives during the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. He was critical of American leadership in his video commentary. Other posts followed, and he wound up in the brig, apparently for talking publicly when he was ordered not to. His parents, among others, took his story public. U.S. representatives and senators asked that he be released from pretrial confinement. Some, including Senator Rob Portman, have asked that he be allowed to resign with military benefits. It all raises questions about where the case goes from here. And that's why I spoke with that attorney who has 19 years of military law experience, including JAG work. There's going to be a lot of pressure to find an off-ramp that is that meets the needs of good order and discipline, but also doesn't have this go to the spectacle of a trial, which will be covered by every media organization in the country, perhaps uh, and many around the world. And I don't think that's something that the Marine Corps really wants, and that's going to be definitely factored in at the senior leadership levels and even in the JAG levels when determining how to, you know, how to properly adjudicate this case. Does accepting a resignation meet the needs of discipline? Depends on who you ask, right? It is all yet to be seen. Tim Balecki told me a number of scenarios are possible for Lieutenant Colonel Scheller, ranging from resignation acceptance to prison time. The Uniform Code of Military Justice is different from civilian law, and free speech that we expect might not be what a person in uniform can expect. We'll bring you updates as we get them, Craig. All right, Kristen, thank you for the very latest there.